welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog it's nearly November how anyone else or is it just me that this month has absolutely flown by I have been busy um, like prepping for gift guide videos coming up and like all my Christmas content to come and I just feel like where has autumn gone it's just been and gone so quickly but we do have halloween right around the corner does anyone have any halloween plans let me know i am thinking about maybe taking a trip to m s and see if they've got any like nice yummy halloweeny themed like picky bits for tea tonight and um, well i'll probably bring you guys with me when i do head over to m s but um, yeah, as for this morning, we went on a nice, lovely countryside dog walk. It's honestly just beautiful. At this time of the year, I find it the most beautiful hour, like, countryside. So I do as much as I can, like, exploring walks, National Trust walks. The one that I went to today was National Trust at Quarry Bank. And, yeah, it's just one of our favourites. We go quite a lot. But anyway, got back, got showered, got ready for the day. And I have used a new device from PMD. PMD is not new to me. I've used their products before. But this one in particular is new within my regime. And it's called the PMD Clean Body. And it comes in a variety of colours. But they are very kindly sponsoring today's video. But regardless of whether or not they're sponsoring it's a product that i have like wanted to try and have been loving so more than happy to talk about anyway it's like a silicon material great for like hygienic purposes and it's really cool because it has different attachments that you can use now essentially it is a device that you can recharge switch on can you hear it vibrates i think it's like let me just turn it off or else you might not be able to hear me like 7,000 vibrations a minute, which with the burying um, heads help to lift, tone, exfoliate. And like I said, because it is silicon and it is more hygienic, it's hypoallergenic, antibacterial. It is obviously waterproof as well. So the different attachments that come with it, I'll just show you. So you've got the silicon kind of like teeth bristles on this side and then magnetically you've got these three separate attachments which you can attach this one is probably my favorite this one's like a bit of pamper a um little massager head and i'll just show you the way that it clicks on magnetically so it's like quite a strong attachment there we've also got the loofah which just helps with using this in circular motions it helps just to lather up your body wash and really like get in get get your skin clean essentially and then if you want to go really exfoliation then you've got this head which basically i i feel like i'm exposing myself here showing this head but i like to use this on like the heels of my feet it's more abrasive and it's essentially the polished head so yeah targeted areas such as like the heels of your feet where you won't maybe want to get off the dead skin it's made from aluminium oxide and then also the loofah is actually silver infused which essentially helps to cleanse the skin without harboring bacteria without spreading bacteria and you can also replace the magnetic attachments as well over time if you wanted to the massager which i like to use after the shower sort of with like a body oil moisturizer especially for me on my neck shoulders and back which again the handle on this allows you to reach which is just ideal especially for like washing your back as well with the loofah but basically it i i just i'm not, i always have done but i get really tense shoulders and neck like right at the back where i can't reach myself so yeah this really helps with that and i think it's as a result of you know i've talked about like anxiety and stresses before and how if, if you like do deep breath work, meditation things, one of the first things I notice when I start to do a deep breath is that my shoulders are like this. 
and like my first breath out where you just try and relax your body I literally the first thing I notice is my shoulders go like that and I'm like oh so I think that's why I hold so much tension in this area. So yeah, that has really, really helped. And it's just, it's a nice little added luxury pamper feel to your routine. So yes, I had to share this with you. And of course, thank PMD for very kindly sponsoring today's video. So I will leave this device linked below for you, for you to try out. And I know you guys are gonna love it just as much as I do with Christmas around the corner as well, potentially a good gift idea. Um, but yeah, thanks to them for working with me on this part of today's video. And now I think it's time to head on out to m and I'm gonna put a quick wash load on before I go. Um, and yeah. Go and see if we can find some best, I say festive snacks. They probably have got the Christmas stuff out, but more Halloween trick or treats that we can find. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Can I take your order, please? Hi, I've got an app order. I couldn't add on there. I'm just checking if you've not got it, the caramel waffle latte. Uh, yep, just bear with me a second. If I can add that on. Yeah, just one second. Thank you. So, I can't see your order, I'm afraid. Are you okay to come to the window and we'll start it for you? Yeah, of course, no worries. All right, great, thank you. Thanks. Do you mind if you pass off, please? Yeah, which, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Okay, thank you. So, I might as well get comfortable then if we're parking up. Hey, Barney. So you might be able to tell. If I put it into park. No, there we go. You might be able to tell. I have popped over to a Mackey's for some lunch. M&S was, I was going to say a success. It wasn't really. It was actually a bit of a fail. I remember last year, I picked Barney up. He's had a groom as well. Smelling delightful. Um, I remember last year they had i'm sure they had in fact i know they did like picky tea which is like my favorite kind of tea especially from m s but they had like them halloween themed they unless if it was just my m s they had zero stuff in the fridge the only like treats that they had halloween related were like some crisps and like sweet treats oh Perfect, thank you. No, no, that's fine, thanks. So I did get a couple of those, which we can have a bit later. And they did have a couple of like festive party foods. So I thought, well, I'm in the mood. And then I'm now at McDonald's. But I saw, well, I heard, I should say, a um, radio ad when I was driving to pick Barney up that they have like Halloween menu at m and m and oh God, I'm getting confused. McDonald's. So I thought we could try it on camera. And get a little bit of a taste test. We've got um the what what they've given me drink wise is the caramel waffle latte, and then in here I just got a mini one because I've hold on can I get it out or is it stuck now? Toffee apple Twix Halloween should be yum, and then they've got the new Philly cheese stack which honestly sounds delightful, even though I'm such a creature of habit when it comes to my McDonald's orders. Chili cheese bites, which are new, I, although I have had these before. They're like new at the minute, but that can't be everything. No, they missed my, they missed my toffee part. Oh, they missed all my favorite part. I'm gonna have to run in and go and grab it. One sec. We're sorted. Toffee apple pie. How, I don't need to put my feet on. How nice does that sound? So, let me just Invisalign out. Guys, literally a week to go. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, hopefully, fingers crossed, if all is good, then tomorrow, for you guys watching, Monday. Ooh, Invisalign off. I think I'm gonna do like a full, uh, 
maybe in on Instagram, some kind of Q and A, real video, something whereby. I'll show you like before and afters of my Invisalign, any questions, answer any questions that you guys might have, because it's been like a speedy journey for me, a lot like quicker than I thought it would go. And so yeah, I'm just really impressed. I mean, when my dentist said to me, it will be um, 14 retainers, so 14 weeks, I thought, it, it basically said three to five months to give me a bit of leeway so in my head I had like six months because if it could be three but it also could be six could even be longer and it literally is like I've got a week left and I'm done unless it, my dentist says otherwise but yeah I'm really happy with that okay shall we give these a taste test I feel oh, but tight on Barney <laughs> Mm, you did have lots of treats when you got in the car though, didn't you? Anyway, oh, it smells delish. The only thing is, gherkin needs to get out. What is that sauce? It's like, it's like they've got cheese on it and a cheese sauce. This is what it looks like two burger patties lots of cheese so i feel like if you like cheese wow wow i am such a creature of habit that i never try anything new i'm so glad i tried this so good I'm just thinking though, I hope this isn't just like a limited edition. I feel like it might be. If not, it's my new order. I don't know how people do mukbangs. I feel like I can't talk and eat. Let's try the caramel waffle latte. Oh, nice. I thought, if I'm being completely honest, that I um, wouldn't like this. Not that I wouldn't like it, I thought it was gonna be too sickly. It is definitely sweet, but I thought I would much prefer the toffee nut latte one, but actually, I'm not getting waffle. It's kind of similar to the toffee nut latte, if I'm being completely honest. Right, anyway, I am gonna finish that burger off camera because I feel like I just need to focus. So let's try the chili bites, which, I've tried before and I know I really like. They do mozzarella sticks, don't they, ordinarily or other at other times. And then this. Oh, hot. I prefer these. It's got little bits of chili in, which I'm not a spicy lover. I don't do spicy food. But these, like, little mini jalapenos in there, they're not spicy, I wouldn't say. They're just, they give a nice, like, kind of slight kick to the flavour of the cheese. Wow, cheese overload today. Then I'm going to go on to sweet just for the sake of taste test for you guys. But I would never normally do this. I am savoury, then sweet. We don't mix the two. <laughs> but this toffee, so what's this? This the, they've got M&S, no, M&M's, not M&S, been to M&S. M&M's Halloween Twix toffee apple. No. Oh my goodness, why can't I sweet say? They've got M&M's. Halloween McFlurry or they've got Twix Toffee Apple McFlurry of which that's the one I've gone for. You see little bits of Twix in there. Toffee Apple, oh that's nice actually. The sauce, the sauce is really good. Then, last but not least, which honestly was the thing I was most looking forward to trying, hence why I had to run in and go and pick it up because I'm not having them miss this off my order. I love the apple pies. When I hear people say, uh, that's rank, how can you eat that? I just don't get it. Apple pies for me from M&S. Oh. <laughs> Is it time to give up? Oh, for the day, <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> from McDonald's is one of my favorite things. I love the apple pies. And this, look how 
like dark that is this is toffee i think it's like the actual crust has the toffee in it limited time only this one toffee apple pie let's give it a while mm. the crunch oh i prefer that it's giving bonfire night toffee apple that's where i've just been taken to november 5th oh wow oh i've got to go back to that fully cheese steak now right thumbs up from everything from me i'm gonna eat this in the car go on my phone for a bit because i love nothing more than just sat in the car um although probably we could get you home and then yeah get home and i've decided i'm going to do some pumpkin decorating this afternoon pumpkin judging up from the pumpkins that i got in my last vlog my pumpkin picking vlog we went to the pumpkin patch i've got three pumpkins all white this year which is fun we did get an orange one but we actually ate it <laughs> we made pumpkin soup but yeah i'm going to i've got a couple of decorations that i've actually bought and also a couple of ideas from pinterest but i do feel like i need to get back really get him back home finish my lunch and then we'll get decorating my pumpkins can you go fetch Good boy. Well done, Barney. Oh, you're so clever. I'll give you a nice big treat for that. What do you want? Oops. Oh, he's having one of these then. Denzel's toffee apple soft sticks for dogs. Good boy. He's off. I'm back home. I'm actually home to quite a few parcels. How cute is it? We taught him to fetch the mail. I'm just waiting for the day that we come home and the mail's ripped apart though it's one of those things that we've taught our dog that we may come to regret one day but for now it's cute so we're doing we're sticking with it anyway so full after that mcdonald's to the point where i'm thinking like the thought of picky food especially treat food is a bit like tonight so whether or not we'll end up having it i'm not sure but i've just popped them away in here the bits that i did get i'll just show you because they were i think four for three four for three is the offer so we've just got some pigs in blankets i might even pop these in the freezer and save them for christmas or at least close to christmas crispy duck spring rolls these are my favorite of all the party foods green cranberry tartlets amazing they're the thing that honestly i might look forward to most why can i not speak today all year round anyway and then lastly cheese and bacon i feel like i'm have a quick look at what's in those uh boxes and just show you what i can because i won't be able to show you everything i just zoomed myself in there Whoa. anyway so m and got those bits that are in the fridge and then yeah i had a quick look at the christmasy section and when I saw this gift wrap and cracker set, the, the actual design, I thought, you know what? It's calling my name. This is the theme this year. So table place settings, I'm thinking there's going to be how many of us on Christmas Day? One, two, three, four, five of us on Christmas Day. Another two added to that. So seven of us on Boxing Day. But Boxing Day, I think it's going to be a bit more relaxed, casual on the island, picky food, cheese board, leftovers, that kind of thing. Maybe a pie, not sure yet. Um, and then potentially another three on Boxing Day as well. So potentially 10 on Boxing Day. But for Christmas Day itself, I've done, or I'm going to do, a table place settings with little table gifts, um, a cracker. I'll probably show you guys if you are interested in that kind of thing because it's honestly things that I've been buying already. Because for me, I just think the key to enjoying Christmas is being prepared nice and early. If you've got all of this stuff, just put it to one side, keep it stored away, 
um, and like kind of buy it throughout the last few months leading up to Christmas as well helps on the bank balance. It's just a nice way to do it. I just, that's for me, helps as to why I enjoy Christmas. These need changing, they're not even right. And that one's not even on, I'm just having a look at it then in the viewfinder. But anyway, yeah, so this actual design, I just thought was beautiful. It's like a kind of white and gold townhouse. So I'm gonna wrap, I think, the table gifts in this. They did have gift bags, which I might even go back and get, but they were two pounds each, so that would be, I don't know, 10 pounds for Christmas day, that's not too bad. Um, and then with one of these crackers by it, in fact, yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might go back and get the, the actual gift bags as well. Because basically, any friends or family watching, I feel like you just need to switch off and tune back in in January. Because throughout these vlogs and videos, it's all gonna be very much things that I'm gonna do for Christmas period, seeing as they were hosting this year. Gifts, gift ideas, all of that kind of stuff, friends and family, it's all for you. So don't ruin the surprise and just click off now. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking for table place settings using these crackers, potentially the gift bag, with little table gifts for each person wrapped up in this, which I have, have I got any left to buy? Maybe one, maybe one or two. A table gift, like budget of about five pounds. So I'll show you those maybe in my gift guide videos as maybe my stocking filler one, whereby it will be smaller budgets and smaller items. So a gift for each person, a scratch card, obligatory, and then I've also ordered from Hotel Chocolat, they do these little mini crackers with a couple of chocolates in. So each bag will have one of those in. Obviously a cracker, full size cracker on the place setting as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do named place settings because that seems a bit too formal. Or maybe I will just for the show, but really we can just sit wherever we want to sit. Um, and make, in fact, yeah, instead of a table name setting, what I might do is name the gift bag because obviously the gift bag will be relative to the person because I am buying the individual gifts for each individual person. So yeah, doing that. And then also I picked up, went to Bargain Booze yesterday, probably the first time in my life I've been to a Bargain Booze but they've got loads of little miniatures. Um, and again, I'll show you those in vlog, vlogs at some point before Christmas or gift guide videos, but in fact, I might do a full video dedicated to table place setting for Christmas where I can show you those, little gift bags all wrapped up and everything. But yeah, a little bottle of something, again, suited to each individual within their bag as well. I think that's gonna be it for the table place setting. Anyway, it's a long-winded discussion around these two, but loved that design, so picked those up. So I did get one of the gift bags because I thought at some point in Christmas I'll be able to use them. But yeah, this is what they look like, two pounds, and this is what I might go back and, what I might do is just all the table place gifts that I've got, just check that they all fit in here. So what we'll probably do is, when we're actually sat down at this table, we've removed one of the dining chairs from each side and pop it on the end, just so that each person in the middle has a bit more space, because otherwise everyone's too close. But, um, yes, yeah, so we'll have three chairs down each side, a chair on each end, your table place setting will be like that. I feel like that's quite a good size, actually. Oh, cute, oh, guys, I'm so... These are the things about Christmas that I enjoy much. <laughs> I enjoy the most. I feel like this whole vlog is about me not being able to function. <laughs> anyway, I'm much more of a gift giver. I just love giving gifts. So yeah, I have been buying, hence why a lot of the parcels I've just come back to are gifts for my gift guide videos. But I'll show you what I can. Um, anyway, M&S, just to stock up the cupboards, I'm gonna try and even save those because we've got that many treats and sweet treats, especially today. I feel like I'm all sugared out already from that. McDonald's trip. I also bought these mummies. How cute are they? They're little loaf cakes, fudgy chocolate sponge cakes, piped with vanilla buttercream and edible decorations. So these are like my Halloween treats. We've also got the Colin the Caterpillars. What do they call them? Yummy mummies. One of these little mini Hocus, 
what do they call it? Hocus Crocus. <laughs> That's cute. It's a little chocolate frog. They do these at Christmas, I think, in Santa shapes. And they're just like a little, kind of like a whisper or an arrow, chocolate arrow. And then what else have I got? Oh, I got some, oh, okay, that one's ruined. But I did get, again, in that same theme, four Christmas cards, set of four Christmas cards, luxury 3D charity cards these are for shelter breast cancer now and mary keating foundation and that's what the actual card looks like once opened if i show you a bit closer it's like a 3d one i think that's everything i got from it oh no i got this little i actually got okay i got this as my table gift because i don't want to leave myself out from the table place setting so my table gift that i'll probably give to myself is this little candle from mns Again, sticking with the kind of five pound budget. I think so, I, I'd say five pound max. Some of them I've spent less. One is more. Mandarin, clove and cinnamon. I can smell it already from the packaging. It smells lovely. And again, that packaging, I think it's the packaging that m and just nail every year. Looks expensive. Well, <laughs> most of the time with M&S. It is kind of pricey. But that is everything that I have got from M&S. Let me see if there's any parcels that I can open. Um, no, I can't open that one. Um, I know I can open this one because I can tell it's from Pixie and I've not ordered anything from Pixie for the gift guide video, so I know that it's PR this one. Glow on gorgeous, your light is a gift to the world. Oh, that's cute. And the makeup of life, your glow is the finishing touch. I feel like I know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a glow tonic. Although these are huge and they do last a long time, they really do. Um, I do use it every single day and it's like a product that I really enjoy using. So they've personalized it as well. Freya's Glow Tonic. Oh, I might be able to open this one. Let's have a look. I don't know what they are until I'm in the package. Some of the items I'm featuring are PR items that are gifted, like this one, which um, there's no point like kind of showing you twice. So yeah, next week, guys. Next week, is it or the week after? I'm starting next week for the gift guides. Let's see if I can open this one. I feel like there's just that many boxes that I can't show you. Yeah, okay. Well, this is actually a PR item that I would definitely recommend as a gift idea because I think it's genius. But it's actually a collaboration that I'm working on over on my Instagram. So this part isn't obviously paid or working with them, but Instagram, I'm going to do some baking with these salter products are air fryer salter and we love it. So yeah, they reached out and wanted to send me some of their cordless range, their new cordless range, which is what I think is genius about it. It's so convenient. So this is their two in one blender um, with a couple of different heads. Yeah, you just recharge it, which is just so convenient. And then this is their hand mixer. I'm not sure, I think there's another one that they sell that they might be sending over. But yeah, stay tuned for some baking and a fun recipe that I'm gonna be uploading over on my Instagram home account, Frey Franklin Home, if you don't already follow. I don't think I can open anything else, which is frustrating because I'm so excited to share with you. I feel like I've got some really good gift ideas this year and what i try to do as well each and every year is new ideas you can go back and watch my previous gift guide videos for even more ideas let's crack on with i actually need to switch wash load out and um and then we'll wash the pumpkins and get them decorated God, I felt something crawling on my face. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I such an idiot? 
Where is it gone? Oh, it's up here. Come back down, ladybird. Come on, I'm going to save you. I don't know if you saw that, but I just felt something crawl here. And I was like, oh, no, I thought, no, I'm imagining it's my hair. And I felt it again. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I just feel like it's since spider season. Let me get those windows open. Also, what is this weather? October, I swear, this year. It's got to have been the hottest October we've ever had, surely. I feel warm all the time. I mean, I'm naturally a warm body anyway. I always say this, like, that's where me and Tom differ the most. He would happily, oh no, have I broken this? He would happily live in sun all year round. I would happily live in an overcast, <laughs> rainy place all year round. Because I get hot easily and he likes the warmth. Yeah, that's one area we differ the most. I feel like I'm definitely in the minority though of being someone who likes... Oh God, one second. Right, come on, Mr. Ladybug. Let's try and save this one then. But yeah, it's worth letting a bit of fresh air in anyway because whilst it's still warm out there... Oh. Fly free! Whilst it is still warm, it's quite nice to have some fresh air flowing throughout the house. Anyway, let's carry on cleaning these pumpkins. Decoration time. Now that they are all clean, I had to trim the stalk of that middle one. Tommy, me, Barney, the me one. Um, but yeah, because it's just a bit wet and gross. So thinking, super easy way to decorate pumpkins without the faff of carving. I did think about painting them. I've seen some gorgeous, cute little TikTok videos of people painting their pumpkins, like with little leaves on or little, I don't know, whatever, decorations. Um, stickers as well, I've seen, super easy. But I found these, um, I'm gonna use a Sharpie, see if it works on the baby one, and maybe, or maybe the middle one, no, the baby one, and just do some little, because this is Barney's, I'm thinking little paw prints, but also little spiders, or maybe just spiders, I'm not sure. And then I saw this in, I found, was it in, where did I get this? John Lewis, I found this. I was thinking TK Maxx Home Sense because they quite often have ginger ray in there, but, yeah, from John Lewis I bought this. I think it was about five or six pounds, but obviously you can reuse these each year. And they're just little wire decorations that you can simply stick in the pumpkin, nice and easy. Um, so yeah, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop them back on the porch and see how they turn out. I lost Barney for ages and I found him in here, although he has gone back in the other room now, but I think he likes it in here. Yeah, I think he likes the fact that you can find little sunny patches in this room. And yeah, slowly but surely coming together, I've managed to pop a couple of pillows on here, a couple of cushions, but no, still very much after a little side table here um, and then something to dress this area. I've just done something incredibly spontaneous but also something that I am so excited for and probably something that's been on my mind for ages and that is I've booked a horse riding lesson. I miss horse riding so much but 
yeah, I just haven't done it for so long. I essentially used to ride at school. I set up a horse riding club um, because there was one in the village that like my school was really rural. I think I've talked about this before, going to boarding school, being a military household, you get your boarding school fees covered because essentially you have to like move every two years. So it just keeps you settled in school. So that's why I went to boarding school. And yeah, in our boarding school, it was like in the middle of nowhere. Well, it wasn't the middle of nowhere, but it was countryside. And there was a little riding school in the village and a friend of mine and I, we, Jenny, if you're watching, we, um, yeah, we set up a little club, got a few people together and we did it every single week, just for fun, no, no like competitions or anything like that. And um, it was, I think it was Fridays after school we used to do it and I used to just love it so much. So yeah, did that up until, I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly, we did it all the way through school, I think. Maybe it tailed off as we got a bit older doing A-levels and that, but I can't, yeah, it must have done. I can't remember doing it till we were 18. Maybe we did, I can't remember. But either way, I'm 31 now, so it's been a while. Between then and now, I've been on a horse twice. I once booked on to do like a hack. I think that was probably about seven years ago with a friend and it was very much a lot of walking, little bit of trot and one tiny little canter. So it wasn't really, I didn't get enough from it. And then I booked one private lesson, which was 45 minutes, similar sort of time. It's so like when I was toying with the idea of getting back into horse riding. And I remember because it was private and I was used to group lessons in school, plus it had been a long time since I'd been on a horse. I remember getting off that horse and not being able to walk. <laughs> seriously you will know if you've been on a horse especially for a 45 minute lesson the grip that your legs have so that when you get off the horse you feel like you're walking with your legs apart still on the horse and it's just so sore so yes I feel like it's gonna feel that I'm gonna feel that same pain but I've booked on to do a the one that I've looked at in is in Cheshire. I'll let you guys know how I get on and everything. I'll try and vlog, but who knows how confident I'll be because it'll be a private lesson. And it will be 30 minutes. They kind of see how you ride. It's more of an assessment to see what level you're at as to whether or not you can join one of the group adult ones, whether you could hack, which is kind of what I want to do. I just want to, on the odd occasion, maybe like once a month, just join on a midday hack or go and just do the odd one one-to-one -one lesson private lesson or even group lesson so i'm not going to be like avid rider straight back to it for one main reason really and that is well two it's kind of an expensive hobby but really the main thing is i remember re my back was really bad when i used to ride all the time and i went to see a specialist went and had scans at the hospital something to do with my pelvic pelvic misalignment basically which I, I still get it on the odd occasion but rarely and it's certain exercises that I do that I or if I'm stood on my feet all day I notice it and it's like really low down like kind of where your coccyx is um on my back that it's just quite sore and I remember riding brings that pain on so that's why I don't want to do it too much especially too much too soon but for now We've booked on to do the half an hour assessment lesson, private lesson. Might book on a few after that and we'll just see how we go. We'll see where it takes us. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. That's in a couple of weeks. Um, Cause I think they've got like half term and that's so why I said, well, let's just, no, no rush. Let's just book on after half term. So yeah, that's exciting. I'll let you know how I get on with that. Do you want to see my little pumpkin? We've got our, wreath and my little pumpkins this all needs repainting by the way hello what are you doing here what are you doing here hello pumpkin <laughs> you just like to look over your empire don't you being the perfect guard dog no you go back inside good boy <laughs> uh, but yeah i've set out our little trio of pumpkins there and I'm enjoying them. But anyway, let's head on back inside. Get mum. We'll go for another walk again soon, shall we? So the only thing is when he's freshly groomed, I'm like reluctant to take him anywhere too adventurous. 
We had a nice adventure walk this morning, didn't we? We did. But yeah, I might just walk around the block tonight. I get his nails filed down, that's what I'll say to myself. But anyway, I think I am gonna close off today's vlog here. I was obviously planning on doing some party food M&S fun, but they didn't have any Halloween savory bits and I'm still full from McDonald's. <laughs> so my Halloween, early Halloween for me, because it's the day before, is gonna be spent hopefully trying to convince Tom to watch some kind of horror movie tonight. There's that new thing on Netflix, isn't there? That was done by the same creators of Haunting on a Hill House or something like that. Um, that looks a bit of me. Whether or not I'll convince Tom to watch that with me, I'm not sure yet. Whoa, we've got out of focus. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, I would really, really appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I also just want to thank PMD for very kindly sponsoring today's video and introducing me to an incredible invention, the clean body. I am absolutely loving it. So again, I will just um, give you a friendly reminder that I will leave a link in the description box for you to check it out yourself. I will love you and leave you. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.